Hi, this is Mark News from Plant Talk Radio. Thanks for subscribing and listening to our podcast, Your Gardening Questions from Plant Talk Radio. To help keep this podcast free for you, we're partnering with Stokes Seeds. The 2017 Gardening Guide catalogs are hitting mailboxes everywhere. Request your catalog today online at stokesseeds.com or view virtual catalogs online. This fully secure site makes it easy to order your free catalog or your seeds or gardening accessories. More than just a listing of vegetable and flower seeds, Stokes Seeds' website is a complete resource center with valuable information on starting seeds, planting, and harvesting. Plus all the gardening accessories you need to make your garden the envy of the neighborhood. Get growing with Stokes. We'll have more from Stokes Seeds in the next few weeks. Right now, today's question. Lanny sent in a question, Chris, and he says, I, I've been told by a local nursery that Bradford pears is not a good tree, that they split apart in just a few years because they grow too fast. I have four pear trees on my property when I bought it. Now, he has several questions here. The first is, how, how can I tell if they're Bradford pears? Oh, that's a tough one. Um, you know, a lot, of, a lot of your landscape pears right now are going to be your Bradford pears, and they're going to be a lot more thick, dense, um, almost probably a two-to-one from height to uh, width ratio. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, they're uh, you know, all the pears are going to have that really nice white blossom. Um, I think they all probably are going to give you a little bit of problem, uh, you know, down the road once they get growing and get too big. That's his, that's the, his second question was, uh, are there any good pear trees? <laughs> <laughs> the pears you can eat the fruit off of. Um, you know, I, I think pears are a uh, what I would consider a very high-maintenance tree. They can be a good tree, but pears to me are a tree that you have to prune once a year. Um, and it may not be a full go-through pruning, uh, but... You know, pears in the nursery when you look at them, and then when they get into the landscape, they grow up as a single trunk, and typically in that four to six foot range, they're just going to split to like five or six different leaders. Mm -hmm. And that's where you see problems five, six years down the road, because all those branches coming to one point are just fighting for that that structural wood. You get a little bit of rain, a little bit of wind, and typically that's when that branch is failing and breaking and, and falling apart. Um, it's really easy, but anytime you drive down the road and look at pear trees, uh, you know, there's always one or two that are missing half or a quarter of the tree where it broke. Mm-hmm. So that's, they're, they're high maintenance. Uh, they can be, uh, it can be, uh, prevented, uh, but it's one of those things where you got to get in there when the tree's young. Uh, so that's one of the things that I always talk about is structural pruning. You know, when the tree's young, before that problem occurs, to get in there and maybe prune and look at your, uh, your, what we call scaffold branches, and try to space those out and make a single leader. Uh, you know, trees that have a single leader, leader are going to be less prone to failure compared to trees that are going to have multiple leaders and attachment points. Hey, thanks again for listening to the podcast. Remember, your 2017 Gardening Guide catalogs are available now. If you want one delivered to your home, go to stokeseeds.com. For the best selection of vegetable, flower, and herb seeds available, go to stokeseeds.com. Cultivating successful growers for generations.